Borg USA here at the 2008 AES show and we are showcasing the new MR2000S. This is a two-channel DSD recorder designed for use in a professional studio environment. So, it's rack mountable. You got 24 LEDs, which give you a nice way of monitoring your signal. Now, another cool thing is that you can choose 5.6 megahertz sampling rate, which is currently twice the Super Audio CD standard for super high fidelity digital recordings. Now this is ideal for laying down your two track mixes from an analog mixing desk or just getting out of the box if you're using Pro Tools or Nuendo and you want to capture a really high quality archival mix of your projects, this is the unit for you. Um, so from that point, we've also added a few more bells and whistles that are really cool. You can chain up to four of the MR2000S's together to get eight channels of DSD recording. So as you can see here, we have one master unit slaving three other um, devices for eight channels total. We've also added word clock, so you can send and receive word clock from the device. Um, you can use an external clocking source. And we've added SPDIF, so if you want to stay in the PCM world and do 24192, you can transfer in and out of the unit that way. And you also use the SPDIF cable to sync the devices together. Um, right now we're listening to a little bit of George Duke that we recorded live. Um, from his studio. So this is another great application of the MR2000S is to capture live recordings um, and for archival purposes. So once you record at that DSD rate, you can then use the free included audio gate software, transfer it via USB 2.0, get your files in the computer, and then you can repurpose that DSD file into any PCM format you like. We've even included some updates as of 1.5 where you can do Apple lossless, you can do WMA, and you can do um, a number of different MP3 codecs. So there's a lot of versatility, and once you've captured that pristine 1-bit master, you can then repurpose it to uh, anything you like. So this is the MR2000S. It should be shipping uh, at the end of the month, and it's going to retail around $24.99, but you'll probably see it in stores for around $2,000. I'm Aaron Barnhart. Thanks for listening.